Welcome back. Aging is a natural process in life, but there are many ways that you can age gracefully. We have holistic pharmacist Sherry Torcos here with her best natural anti-aging secrets for every age group. Welcome back, Sherry. Thanks for having Good me. Good to see you. Yes, a lot of people want to know how to turn back the clock and having a, some, some products that are natural, ways that we can, you know, make our skin and feel better in absolutely, a natural way. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, taking care of our skin from the inside out is really important. And so I partnered with the Canadian Health Food Association to develop some recommendations that are really get tailored towards the decade of life. So whether you're 20, 30, 40, or 50, what can you apply to your skin? What can you eat in your diet that's going to have a positive impact on your skin? Okay. So starting off on the far side here. Because every, your skin does change so much. And it when does. you're a teenager and in your 20s, it's very different than it is later on in life. Absolutely. When we're in our 20s, we're talking about oily skin, breakouts, blemishes, and we're looking for strategies that can improve our skin, but often budgets are limited mm -hmm. when you're in your 20s. So some simple things that you can do that don't cost a whole lot, using raw and pasteurized honey as a skin cleanser because with acne, oily prone skin, we want to keep the skin clean, but we don't want to use harsh products that are going to dry the skin and cause irritation. So in that little bowl there, I've just mixed up a little bit of honey and water. Antibacterial enzymes help to break up the dirt, cleanse the pores. So think about that as a cleanser and coconut oil, which is so versatile. You can cook with it. Right. You can put it on your skin as a makeup remover. And oh, it's really? also very good as a moisturizer and you only need a very tiny bit. So coconut oil is fabulous for the 20 somethings. Now in this little bowl here, I have a green tea facial scrub. So this is seeped green tea mixed with a little bit of granulated sugar and the recipe is actually at the website chfa.ca. Exfoliation is really important to clear out the, the clogged pores mm -hmm. that can cause breakouts and acne. So think about that mm -hmm. as a great do-it-yourself scrub. Any multivitamin for 20-somethings that are busy eating on the go, maybe not getting enough nutrients through foods alone, that's when a supplement, especially one that would contain zinc and vitamin A, which are nutrients important for acne-prone skin. Very nice. Okay. Moving on to the 30s. Things are a yes. little bit different for the 30-somethings. Well, we start to notice when we're in our 30s that our skin becomes a little bit thinner. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there are challenges in the 30s. We're busy. We're stressed, we're not always getting enough antioxidants through diet alone. Vitamin C is really important. We think of vitamin C as an immune boosting supplement, which it is good for the immune system, but it's also important for stimulating collagen production. So of course, citrus fruits, vitamin C rich foods. Also think about berries, strawberries, blueberries. All the berries are rich in vitamin C and that will help to improve collagen production in your skin. And we're eating these, right? Not putting we're them on eating. our skin. We're eating, but eating you can them. also, there's vitamin C serums. If you go to your natural health products retailer, health food store, you can find some great serums that contain yeah. vitamin C supplements, again, to complement the diet. And here's that serum. Yeah, the vitamin C serum, which can be absorbed topically and, again, improve collagen production. Also, probiotics, probiotic yogurt or probiotic supplements. We hear a lot about probiotics for digestion. Well, there's new evidence that probiotics can also benefit skin health, especially if you have an imbalance in that gut microflora. Okay, good. So those are some strategies for the 30s. 30s. And the 40s. Yes, here we are in the 40s, and as I end, and I'm nearing the end of my 40s. <laughs> yes, we're thinking about fine lines are appearing. We're thinking about some strategies that we can help preserve the, the collagen of our skin. We want to fight UV damage, so for sure make sure you're wearing a broad spectrum sunscreen. But think about some foods that are rich in antioxidants, nutrient-rich foods, kale and collards, beta-carotene rich foods as well, vitamin C, peppers, lots of lettuce and greens are great for aiding detoxification, improving digestion, and helping to support the overall health of your skin as you get into the 40s. So these are some important strategies, and again, supplements can complement that diet. Okay. Are there some things that we would be able to do in our 20s and 30s that we can still apply today? Yes, okay. absolutely. Vitamin C is really important, and if you're getting vitamin C through food, great. If you're eating the citrus and the berries on a regular basis, fine, but if you're not, you really want to consider a supplement, and you can ask your natural health products uh, advisor for a recommendation, because supplements supplements or chewables or tablets, something really for everybody. Okay, and then we move on to the 50s and, and again, the, the things are changing a little bit. Yeah, things are changing and as we um, get into the 50s, I think a primary concern is dryness of the skin, mm -hmm. also for women as they go through menopause or hormonal changes which can um, accelerate dryness but also fine lines and wrinkling. And so women and men in their 50s are thinking about strategies for protection of that skin. What can we do to hydrate, take care of our skin? Blueberries are fantastic because they contain certain antioxidants that can help fight damaging effects of uh, ultraviolet radiation, also stress and environment. 
some nutrient-rich foods. Also, in terms of supplements, vitamin D, because as we get into our 50s, our skin loses its ability, or actually we have diminished capacity to make vitamin D through okay. sun exposure. So think about vitamin D supplements. Also, argan oil. Argon is just incredibly popular. You see it in a lot of hair serums. It's great for taming frizzies and hydrating the hair. But there's been research to show that argon oil, either taken orally or, or in, um, applied topically, can help to reduce age spots, also to improve the elasticity of the skin. Interesting. And so that's a, it's a hugely popular uh, nutrient and oil, actually, for helping with skin health. And coenzyme Q10, which Again, super antioxidant, fights aging, but it's also good for our heart. Okay, great ideas. Something we can start early on and just carry it right through all the way to the 50s. That's right. And there's some great information for anybody that would like uh, tips and strategies or some of the do-it-yourself recipes. If you go to chfa.ca and engage the conversation, there's uh, links for Twitter and Facebook, and you can check it out. And, uh, Fantastic. Send us your face tips. Your, Thank your skincare you. Care tips. Sounds good. And we would also like to know what your best anti-aging secrets are. Post on our Facebook page or send us a tweet at CTV. TV Morning Live.